All right, so should you use SendGrid, Mailgun, uh, SparkPost, SendInBlue, uh, Postal, any of these SMTP um, services for your cold emails? That's uh, what we're going to talk about today. And I have a couple of opinions, um, a couple of, uh, you know, uh, tested, tried, true methods that I've done uh, in the past. And uh, yeah, I'll just try to kind of, kind of combine it all so that you get a good answer here. So number one, um, you know, Cold email is a one-to-one -one activity, okay? This is a one-to-one -one conversation. This is a, um, you know, a, a, a relationship that you're trying to start, okay? This is not a mass approach like a paid ads or, um, you know, a, even an SEO kind of um, technique, okay? This is something that's very personal and should come off very personal in my opinion. And, you know, what I find, um, makes cold email campaigns work well is personalization, the quality of your lists, um, the segmented nature of your list, reaching out with a certain value proposition for a certain person in charge of a certain thing, and then another for another person. So, you know, being very like segmented and careful and appealing um, to the pain points and the situation that that person's in. Okay. So cold email is not something, um, you know, that, that whole batch and blast spam uh, ma mass email approach really does not work anymore uh, in my experience. And, and, and from, you know, all my friends, all the um, people that I work with, it just doesn't work anymore. Um, it has to be a more tailored approach and it has to be more personalized. So keeping that in mind, you know, using SendGrid or Mailgun or any of these SMTP services to send cold emails, um, you know, the first thing I'll say is that it goes against what cold email really is, in my opinion, okay? And the best way to do cold email is manually typed out one-to-one -one doing your research. That's where you're going to get the best replies. If you take the step up to automate it, you're still going to want to have that personalization. Um, I'll include some tools in the description here uh, that you can use for that when you start to automate. But, um, you know, you want to automate and you still want to maintain that personalized approach. You still want to show up in the inbox um, and, you know, all those kinds of things. So it, it's very important that as you scale up, you don't lose that personalized approach. And so that's one thing with, with Mailgun and these things is that, you know, you'll see when you send, the sender says, you know, sent via, um, you know, some little Mailgun tag or some little send grade tag. So, you know, you just lose that right away, that kind of manually written, manually researched approach that, um, that you'd like to have in a perfect world. So that's one thing you lose right away. Secondly, um, you know, the thing with Mailgun and SendGrid and all these things, they show up in the promotions tab. Okay, these are these are tools that are meant to be used for transactional and marketing emails. They're not really meant to use for like cold email, one-to-one -one kind of emails. So more than not, you're going to show up in the promotions tab. Um, what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that, you know, you're not showing up in the inbox, okay? And just think about yourself right now. Like when you open up your Gmail account and you get an email in your inbox and it says, you know, hey, your name, um, you know, I'd like to help, whatever. You're so much more likely to read it. It cuts through so much noise, not showing up in updates or promotions or one of those things. It shows up in the inbox in your main flow. It, it's tagged as important. It's like, this is somebody reaching out to you. Go ahead and respond. Um, that goes a long way and it doesn't hurt your brand. It keeps your brand like front and center, all these kinds of things. It's very important. Okay. Um, so I want to be clear about that. Um, promotions tab is not ideal. And I understand for some people, they're not, they're like, I don't care. I'll show up in the promotions tab, like as long as I get a reply. Sure. But again, you're kind of minimize. you know, just think of yourself in that situation. Now, if you go to promotions, it's going to be, you know, Black Sun, uh, Black Friday sale, uh, you know, 24 hour expiration, uh, kind of, you know, buy now, you know, it's going to be all these promotions and stuff from all your like email marketing kind of like subscriptions. Um, and then all of a sudden you see in there, hey, first name, uh, I'd like to help it just kind of falls in it, it, the context changes and it falls into this kind of marketing email thing, um, which again is the opposite of what cold email is. It's not a marketing technique. It is a sales technique and is a one-to-one -one relationship builder. Okay. And the third thing I'll say is that, again, you just end up in a kind of, you're, you're, you're trying to shortcut the thing. Okay. So what do I recommend instead? Um, you know, I recommend anything that will make it so you don't look like a spammer. Okay. So number one, I would use a Google, Work Google workspace or an Outlook uh, Office 365, you know, kind of uh, mailbox to send your cold emails. Um, I would try to make them seem as manual as possible, as one-to-one -one, um, as possible. That's, that's just going to increase results at every level. Okay. And instead of sending, you know, 10,000 emails to get a reply, you can send 50 or 100 emails and get a good reply and get a meeting, right? Like that's the kind of numbers you want. You know, if you send 100 emails, you'd really, in a perfect world, you're getting 10 replies. 
Um, and, and at least a couple of those are moving to meetings and they're interested or whatever, right? Um, so this is very important, you know what I mean? The quality over quantity aspect. So um, overall, I would advise that you do not use SendGrid or Mailgun or any of those things. It's against their terms and conditions. You're gonna end up in the promotions tab. Um, and so I hope this, hope this video is helpful for you. Obviously test everything. I mean, if you're you know having an approach that's working really well uh, with your Google Workspace accounts and you wanna go and test a Mailgun account, I understand. Yeah, so that makes that actually makes sense, right? Um, but again, if you're just getting started, or if you you know kind of trying to figure out that right you know product market fit and those pain points and how to get the right message out to the people, I really don't recommend doing this kind of trying to go mass email right from the get go. You know, start with manual one to one emails. Um, start with you know light automation just to make sure you're you know sending consistently every day. Um, but uh, you know, start with VAs that are manually sending emails for you and testing a couple of different try. Uh, you know, kind of different angles on your offer and things like that. Okay. Um, so that's my recommendation, you guys. I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.